Hello, welcome back at Peter Place. We are playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Edition 2022. We are in Rito Village right now, but we will travel out. Um, so, I checked this tower. So I will now do uh, Tabantha Tower. Why not? I have a feeling I already did Tabantha Tower, but let's try. So what I'm doing right now is I'm revisiting all towers. Ah, wait a sec. Wait a sec. Well, so I'm I'm uh, on the hunt for shrines. That's what I'm doing because I feel that shrines yield a lot of good treasure, a lot of good weapons, and sometimes even 300 rupee treasures, which is cool. Uh, so I kind of need those to up my rupee count and buy awesome stuff like outfits and gear. Uh, so I'm using the towers to actually spot shrines that I didn't clear yet. So you can see a shrine right there. Uh, but I cleared that. So... I'm looking for orange glows because basically any and all um, Sheikah towers were already climbed. That's all. Oh, yeah, there's luminous stone there, but I'm not going to go there for now. So as far as I can see, no orange glowing things here. I've made a full 360. Uh, so I'm going to revisit the map. Uh, yeah, so here I put a pin. So I should be able to spot that from the Nehru Tower. So I'm really curious if that pin is actually a shrine. So let's travel there. Uh, but then in uh, more general terms, what am I doing in this game? Can't you see I'm playing it? But um, I am playing all the quests from the main game, Breath of the Wild itself, and of the uh, expansion packs, the DLCs, uh, the Champion's Ballad, and the Master Sword Trials. And that makes for interesting gameplay because usually people played the main game and then had to wait until the DLCs sorry, came out and do them. But I'm doing it in a different chronology, uh, which allows me to have better and more stuff for my main quests. So I put a pin here somewhere. I think at least I should be able to spot that pin. Oh, look at that. I, I should be able to spot that pin from here so let's take a peek see pins cannot be seen with the naked eye so where am i looking at i'm looking ways away the pin should be somewhere there i'm looking way too far so it should be over there somewhere yeah i should be looking straight at it can i see anything Anything? Okay, using my scope, I can't see anything, but I put a pin there. I'm pretty much looking straight at it, so... Alright. Let's try and go there then, shall we? So far, everything I pinned on the map was kind of, well, was kind of on. There was a shrine there. Oh, it is raining already. How wonderful. It is raining already. That, dear people, is something somebody needs to... Oh, it's actually thunderstorming. Okay, so... Okay, nothing is, is, is showing electricity yet, so... I am seeing lighting though, so okay, let's, uh, ah, okay, so now it is. So basically everything except the guardian spear and this one. All right, then bow wise, what have I equipped? Okay, so let's do the Rito bow. And shield wise, I was good, right? Okay. 
So that is something someone needs to clear up for me. Answers in the comments below, please. What is with this eternal ring? I mean, in the beginning of the game, I made some really nice comments about how they made this an open world game where you can just explore whatever, whenever, because you can climb and scale all cliffs. But then they start adding ring to the mix and now things become unclimbable. I am taking out my Sheikah slate uh, thing again. Um, I'm not I'm not seeing it. I'm, I'm supposedly looking straight at it. Not seeing it. Uh, it is the only pin I kept on the map. I'm supposedly walking straight at it, but... Um Not seeing it though. Alright, so these smaller things are still scalable. What is this though? Can I get back up here? I can get back up here. I am leaving the deer alone. Oh, what was that? RT truffle? No, don't climb the tree. What is this? Is this like a, a hidden gate or something? Examine. History of the Zora Part 5. The saga Prince Ruto has told by King Dorafan. Long, long ago... In yeah, okay, can I skip this? <laughs> In a past more distant than even the Great Calamity or the creation of the Divine Beast Faruta, there was a Zora princess named Trudo. We know that she was an attendant to the Zora patron deity and that she was a fair and lively girl, beloved to all. Around that same time, an evil man with designs on ruling the world appeared, bringing disaster upon Zora's domain. It is said that Ruto then awoke, awoke as a sage, facing this foe alongside the princess of Hyrule and the hero of legend. Their achievements are remembered not only by the Zora, they are also forever etched in the history of Hyrule. The Divine Beast Faruta, built ages later to face off against Calamity Ganon, was named in honor of Ruta. Rudo. Okay. That the Zora Princess, my sweet daughter Mifa, was chosen to pilot Ruta is surely the work of fate. Okay. Don't know what it means, but um, okay. Part 5. Hang on, so there's at least four other of these things. Alright. I shall say alright for now and pursue my quest for the place that I pinned. Uh, which is kind of coming to a stop here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It's clearing up, people. It's clearing up. So let's check for a while. Is this... Nah, maybe not scalable. On this side, it might be scalable. Ah, it's still raining. It is still raining. <laughs> um, map time, actually. Where is that thing? Ah, it is. It is not on on this ledge anyway. Okay. Oh, I did pin a shrine. I did pin a shrine. How interesting. How did I ever see that? Well, definitely not from the tower that I came from. Uh, I think I get I get a lot of headwind here for some reason. Uh, I should also be watching my uh, my stamina wheel. Oh, 
Oh, nice. So let's try something. Can I actually land on a shrine? I can. Ruko Mark Shrine. And look what I did. That's cool because this, once again, is, is like a maze to get to. But I kind of cut that off by just landing in the middle. And there's a lot of Lizalfos here. So that's a cool thing. I'm on top of the shrine. Nice. So in we go. Let's skip that. Five flames. Right, so... Let's, let's see here. So let's take a look see around. That's where I came in. There's water here. Which is deepish. I cannot stand in it. Do oh. No, 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 no. I'm not seeing anything in the water. Ah, all right. <laughs> all right, so that does not work that way. Um. There is a chest up there, which is magnetic. Can I see through the cracks? I can. Yep. Nice. Inventory is full again. Uh, so let's check the bow inventory. So can I do the same thing here? Because I think there's a treasure chest. Yes, there is a treasure chest here. It's magnetic as well. And I can pin it through the... Uh... I can get a hold of it through the cracks. I don't think this is the way to do it. Or, well... Opal, nice. Um, so I was kind of hoping for rupees. Do I have all treasure? I do. Um, so, then how do I solve this thing? Five flames. So, basically, what I need to is I need to light all five in a way. Okay. And how do I make that block turn? Ah. Okay. Oh, but it has... It has... Ah, it has different... Okay. It can turn in different directions. So let's... Uh, what can I take? This is actually the weakest weapon. So... That was not that smart. So there's always one. I 
Okay, I can't hit it that way. Uh, sadly. Here goes another arrow. Alright, so basically what I need to do now... Oh, but I can get the arrow back. Okay, cool. So I don't lose the arrow. Right now... I need I needed to turn that way so I light the one so did I not light the one in the wall now yeah there's one in the wall that's lit okay cool Is there a torch on that side? The one side that I cannot see right now. Yes, okay. Oh. Okay. As long as I can get my arrows back, I think it's all fine. So where are we now? Let's do that again. So now both of these are lit. That's good. So now... Alright, so let me check something. That is lit, that is lit. There is no one, uh, no, no, um, torch here. That is lit, no torch there. So now, all the ones that are in the horizontal plane that can rotate past the two fixed torches on either side are lit. Meaning, I now have to flip this in the other direction. If I now flip it in the other direction... Uh, which direction is that actually? Uh, hang on a sec, because if I hit this one, it will rotate down and the, 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 the torch that is facing me will go out. I actually needed to flip the other way, which I cannot do, um, but if I hit the top one now, that's also fine because on this side, there is no torch, so I will extinguish nothing if I do that. arrow so let's check so now i have done that oh oh i had no clue um that's not good there is a fountain there okay okay so let me check There is a... Is there a torch on this side? No. So if I keep spinning this around, I will inevitably extinguish that. Hang on a sec. Because then I'm a bit perplexed. Which torch on the cube do I still need to light then? Aren't they all lit now? Aren't they all lit? Just 
just about to stay. Aren't they all lit? Um, so let me check. Do I have all treasures? I do. All right. That was a fun shrine. Did I... <laughs> Did I leave arrows lying about? I don't think so. All right. Cool. Let's just check behind here to be absolutely certain we don't leave any goodies. All right, cool. So that's that's okay. Spirit orb. Ooh, back to one spirit orb out of four. Nice. It is raining again. Obviously. So, um zooming out. Oh, I am zoomed out. I don't think there's any pin on the map left. So, uh I'm going to go to one of the most Southern Towers, Gerudo Tower, Wasteland Tower. Um, ah, I'm going to take this one. Just to see. Uh, because I, I pointed, uh, there was a, a, a treasure stamp there as well. If I can't see any shrines, I can still collect some treasure. I don't know how many Korok seeds I actually have. Maybe I should uh, return to Hestu at some point and... So there's a blue shrine. I'm not seeing... Ooh. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any shrines from here. So I'm now directly looking at that spot where there was treasure. So then let's go there. That was supposedly here somewhere. I'm not seeing where that was supposed to be, right? I'm supposed to be right on it. Ah, that was the one. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice spot. take this I think this was meant for that okay all right cool so we got what we came here for so then let's go to this tower and see if we can spot any shrines. I should divide the system so I know which towers I checked. Oh, 
all right that was this tower um so then i have another interesting thing i want to do actually oh but it is late at night all right cool so there's a shrine there but i did that What is that? Can I see that? No clue what that is. But I'm also not spotting any shrines. But uh, I'm going to talk to you. We meet again, it's good to see you well. Likewise, let's hear it. Excellent, without further ado. As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies. Yeah, okay. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. So that means... So I think I should fire an arrow to that thing when it starts glowing and I should be able to see it glow from here, right? And that should be about now when the moon, which is still I don't know where, that should be about midnight, that's not that far off. I hope you can stand accordion music because that's what you're getting. In all of that area, there is not a, shing a shingle, not a single shrine. Weird, eh? I don't know where the where the moon is, but I can see it's twenty one. It's twenty. It's ten o'clock. I hope I can see that thing light up from here. And then I hope when I shoot an arrow, that will actually make it happen, right? So the thing is, uh, when the northern light from the tower shadow an arrow flies, pierce the light. Aha, uh -huh. so there's a shadow there, so the moon is somewhere there can't see it so we're almost at midnight interesting can i see it glow from here you can see the shadows turn so that is the shadow of the tower right And that, so then I can see where the moon is supposed to be. Yep, there we go. If it's not that, if it doesn't reveal me something now, I have no clue when it will. Don't fall asleep on the ledge, Link, because you will tip over. That's the other thing I want to do. I want to know what's on the bottom. So I'm kind of hoping that I just have to shoot at it, not hit it from here, because I think that is virtually impossible. Um, so it is past midnight already. I have not seen anything glow there. I hope I got this right because I'm I'm waiting.
Is this gonna light up now or not? It is. Oh, that was too, too far away. Okay, I missed the window. And I wasted two arrows, so... Let's see what's down here. Is there anything down here, actually? Uh, I don't think there's anything down here. No. <laughs> there's not. Okay, mystery solved. It's a bottomless hole. Hello, Kaz. Don't you wonder how I rematerialize here? Alright, so... On with the shrine quest. Um, so... Well, I will catch you next time when we try to find, find more shrines. Until now, take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. Thanks for subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell icon so you don't miss a single update. Thanks for commenting below. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.